The cloud is a technology that combines resources such as CPU, hard disk drives, network interface cards, bandwidth, and place them into a virtualized pool for consumers to use as required. Virtualization and orchestration are key components to the cloud. The virtualization side of things is carried out by what is known as the hypervisor. And it is this abstraction there, created by the hypervisor, that allows the sharing of systems, physical resources. The hypervisor essentially allows multiple operating systems to share a single physical host. Many people refer to the hypervisor as a simple piece of software or lightweight operating system running on a host. However, its attack surface is far larger than that of a normal operating system, as it could potentially hold hundreds of virtual machines running their own independent operating system and application set, all having the potential for compromisation. The shared responsibility model and multi-tenant nature can open up the cloud to a number of threats, such as hypervisor breakouts, also known as VM escape, and network level attacks that directly target the hypervisor. As the hypervisor is reachable by an IP address, traditional network enumeration tools such as NNAP can be used to directly attack the hypervisor. For example, NNAP can be used to scan a subnet and return results of a live host, services and open ports. If the scanning results in a vulnerability, a bad actor can then exploit the system, insert the payload to control the host and gain a further foothold on the infrastructure. We also have what is known as VM escape. The attacker runs a code in the VM that allows the operating system to break out and interact directly with the hypervisor. A VM that should be isolated from the host machine and other VMs on the same host now has the potential to access the host machine and other VMs on that same host. Once a VM breaks out, it can potentially execute malicious code against the host and other VMs. The ideal situation is to limit the number of virtual hardware resources available to the hypervisor and the VM. The functionality of a hypervisor should just be down to the resource scheduling and isolation, that's it. The hypervisor is here only for VMs and for the VM only. Hardening the hypervisor by removing as much as you can will therefore reduce the tax surface.